Welcome to this video with Windows Server 2012 using VHD boot and being able to boot alongside a Windows 8 machine also using VHD boot but still being able to remove the graphical user interface. I chose to make this video because I had a number of instances where uh, people were saying that if you're using VHD boot and dual booting a machine you're unable to remove the graphical user interface. This isn't true and I just wanted to highlight this uh, by the use of a video. So I'm just showing you that I've got um, two operating systems inside this machine. So one's Windows 8, one's Windows Server 2012, and they are the respective boot files for each of them. So they are VHD boot based machines. And again, just to prove that the Windows Server 2012 is currently booted using VHD boot, if I just go into the Disk Administrator utility, we can actually see inside here that despite they have a drive D, the drive C is where we're booted from and if I was to sort of right click on the drive to go to the properties you could see that I have the detach VHD option. Obviously I'd only get that as being a valid option if it was inside a VHD file. So obviously we can see that I have the full graphical user interface installed. You can see I've got the explorer icon, I've got PowerShell, I've got the new Windows start screen available to me. So what we want to do is just for the purpose of demonstration is remove all of the graphical user interface. So if you're not familiar using the PowerShell commands to achieve this, um, we'll just sort of start from the beginning with the PowerShell commands. So obviously the first thing you might want to do is be able to find out which commands can be used to manipulate features. So one way to uh, achieve that would be to do the get hyphen command and then star windows feature uh, parameter and it shows me all the commands I can use for um, uh, adding additional features, removing them, as well as being able to install them and uninstall them. We sort of do similar functions, as well as, be able to, as well as being able to get a list of them. So the next bit would be get a list of the Windows features that are actually installed on a system. So when we run the get hyphen Windows features command, it will show all the features which are installed, all the features which are available to be installed. Now specifically, the graphical user interface is a Windows feature. So sometimes it can be quite difficult to find the features you want in the specific commands. So what we can do is we can use the get hyphen Windows feature command with a where clause in it to actually report back the features which are specifically for adding and removing the graphical user interface. So as we can see we have the server hyphen GUI hyphen MGMT hyphen infrastructure and the server GUI hyphen shell. So the GUI shell, just to remind you, is the full graphical user interface and the GUI MGMT is the one that just gives you basically server manager and access to the um, management uh, MMCs. So what we're going to do is we're going to uninstall the whole lot of them. So we're basically going to turn this machine into a server core machine. So Using the uninstall hyphen Windows feature command, we'll just separate the two names of the interfaces that we want to remove um, with commas. This takes a little while, and obviously at the end of this process, it will require us to reboot the system. So we'll just speed up the video just for the removal process. So having now completed the removal of the interface as you can see we are being prompted that this server requires to be restarted so we will just initiate a restart using the shutdown command and we should then see the server will come up without the graphical user interface present this reboot will take a while so again I will just speed up the video for the purpose of saving some time Having now completed shutting down and making the changes, we're just rebooting. This will again make some further configuration changes as part of the boot process. And hopefully we'll then be able to get in and see that we're running effectively just as a server core machine. So we'll log into the system. So just enter the password. And then we'll see we just have the standard server core experience so no taskbar we just have a command prompt where we could run commands from 
So I'm just going to restart the machine just to show you that the Windows 8 environment still works and is fully graphical based. So we'll shut down this machine quickly. So selecting Windows 8 from the boot menu. So we're now going to start the Windows 8 experience. So we should see the uh, sort of default lock screen. So we'll just sign into the Windows 8 machine just so that you see that the full graphical experience is still there. So we've been able to remove the graphical experience from a Windows Server 2012 machine even though I've got dual boot using VHD boot. And that's because the experience is not stored inside the boot config, it's actually stored inside the local machine. Thank you for watching this uh, demonstration video just showing that you can use VHD boot, boot multiple operating systems and still remove the graphical user interface from Windows Server 2012 and obviously install it back on if you want to. Please feel free to email me, uh, follow my blog or follow me on Twitter. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.